parental bill of rights will become law just as students are leaving school for summer break, but it's already causing controversy and creating anxiety amongst LGBTQ students and other groups. Camus Denise Whitaker takes a closer look at what it covers and why some say it leaves too much room for interpretation. This initiative creates a new parents' bill of rights, but it does not alter or change any law that's already on the books in our state. Simply codifies all of these existing laws in one place. Yet there was still some confusion among lawmakers both for and against this initiative. So imagine the confusion for parents, students, and educators. The way this is written, it's ambiguous. This Bill of Rights gives parents the right to ask to see curriculums, textbooks, academic records, and medical records of their students, which is where things get sticky, because it also requires public schools to give parents immediate notification of some of those conversations kids might expect to be fully private. And there are many things that kids don't feel um, that they can talk to their parents about. For instance, state law protects kids starting at age 13. So if a teenager asks their doctor about birth control, that's private information. But under this Bill of Rights, if that teenager asks the question at school, the parent is supposed to be notified. It is impacting our school, our schools and our students right now because they are seeing their identity and their personhood being brought up to debate. Do you see this new initiative when it does become law? Will it be tested in the courts, do you think? I am absolutely certain that um, challenges will come forward if we see school boards step on students' privacy rights or other rights of students, we will act swiftly. Even some legislators who voted for this initiative admit that they may have to fine-tune it during their next legislative session. In Seattle, Denise Whitaker, Como News. Both the Seattle and Bellevue school districts tell us that they already follow the laws encompassed in this new Bill of Rights. Denise says another note for parents, they already have the right to opt their student out of sex ed or other curriculum.